Welcome to Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. And whilst we're here, we are staying in three different types of accommodation. One is budget, one is mid-range, and the final one is luxury. And the big question is, which one is the best value? And I want you to be putting your thoughts in the comments as we go along. And also, if you're new around here, hello, I'm Chelsea. I run CheapHolidayExpert.com. It's all about cheap travel. And on here, I show you that and my holidays. So if you think you'll like that kind of thing, hit subscribe. Right, we need to go back in time to when we arrived, which was late on a Friday night. So actually, let's fast forward to Saturday morning where we woke up in our budget accommodation. Welcome to Jolly Apartments. We are in the old town of Vilnius. And by the way, Vilnius is such a good location for a city weekend break because it only took us 12 minutes to get here last night in our taxi. Now, one of the reasons this is so cheap is there's no reception. Instead, you get sent a code to put in the keypad. Can't tell you what the code is, but you get sent it on email. Right, Ooh, let's go in. A couple of rooms here on this floor and there's also this uh, general lounging space where you can sit and have a oh what's this a sour cherry drop what a welcome right let's go up and I'll show you our room here we are another keypad another one I'm not going to share with you stop being so nosy right Here we go. This is one of the cheapest rooms in the whole of Jolly Apartments. Naturally, I went for that one. It cost us 31 pound for the night. Right, we're gonna do a super quick tour of the room. So to my right, we've got your storage, plenty of it. And up here, we have got a heating slash air con system. We've got a desk, which actually is quite good for a budget room. You don't always get that. You've got your kettle. I know that's important to a lot of people. TV, a lovely display of wires to the side of it. And this is what actually surprised me. A fridge, a really decent sized one. Of course, it's no mini bar, but look, buy yourself some beers from the supermarket and you've got yourself some chilled beers. Finally, the bed, which to be fair, is pretty, pretty comfy. Now, you might have spotted something that, uh, the roof is quite low at the bed. And when I first saw this, I thought I'm gonna wake up in the night and actually knock myself out. So here's the test. Okay, I'm lying in bed. You ready? I'm a bit nervous. Ooh. How much space? How much space do I have, James? Loads. In proper European style, you get a blanket each and you've got some storage in the chest of drawers down there. Now it's time to look at the bathroom. <sighs> Run on here. Now, what can I say? It's pretty standard for a bathroom. You've got your toilet, your shower, your sink. Um, we'll, <laughs> we'll show you something that entertained us. This is the size of the towels. In fact, that's the bath mat. This is the size of the towels. What's that that they're saying? You're absolutely right. Uh, there's a hairdryer. There's also another hairdryer up here. But all you really need to know is that when I had my shower today, the hot water came straight away. So, who are we to complain? The final thing we need to find out is, very important, the Wi-Fi speed. And for that, I'm gonna pass you over to my associate. You join me at the tech center on the fridge for the most important test, the internet speed test. Five, perfect. Whoa, look at that. 150, pretty good. Should we do upload? Whoa, 70 uploads. That's fast. That's like data center speed. That's it for the budget room. What do you think of it? Pop your thoughts in the comments, but next for us is the mid-range hotel. We're moving up. Morning, let me show you around the mid-range hotel. I'm dressed. It's time to have a look around. Right, come on in. We are staying at the Hotel Noringa and let me lead you through to the main event, to the bed, because we are staying in a superior double room. Now, this was £69 a night. 
you can stay here for cheaper. You can stay from £52 a night just for their standard double. But with this, we got the king size bed, which I will test for you now. It's very, very comfy. Big fan. One duvet, unlike the last place that we stayed. Lovely headboard. James, what did you make of it? Huge bed, great. Yeah, we really, really liked it. Now, let's take a look at the view. Ooh. So that is looking down to one of the main high streets here in Vilnius. Now, what I will say is the rooms are soundproofed. However, it was Saturday night, so we could hear some vibes going on outside the window last night. It was not too bad at all. We slept absolutely fine. But if you're a super, super light sleeper, you might just ask to not be facing the roadside. Moving on to this lovely chair area. I like, I like a little chair moment in a hotel. James was sat here this morning enjoying his coffee, so we got use out of it. And here we have the TV, which we did watch some music channels on this morning. Rick Astley featured twice, big fans. You can watch YouTube on it as well. Moving on to the desk. One of my favorite features of this room is definitely all the wood in it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it makes it quite original because stuff like the rattan feels like they've updated it for like those people making those Pinterest boards or it's quite Instagrammy. However, I feel like this is quite retro and I like how they tie together. And moving on here, we've got some of the amenities. So you've got all your glassware, you've got a kettle, you've got an espresso which came with four pods, which we've used three of. And down here, ooh, we've got our, ooh, we must remember to take our passports out of here, James. We left our passports in the safety deposit box. <laughs> and then you've got a mini bar, and this is my favorite thing about it. For a bottle of the sparkling wine, it's only a small one, but it's six euros. I think that might be the cheapest I've ever seen sparkling wine on a mini bar. As for storage, there's bloody loads of it. More than enough space for us to have our two bags, but there's two drawers as well. I believe as well that there is a laundry service, should you want that. And then back here, we've got a place to hang up our coats. There's an ironing board, there's slippers. We've put our boots down there. There's loads of shit going on. Oh, James, just by you right now. There's aircon, there's heating. It's very toasty in here right now. You don't need to worry in the winter. And finally, a massive, massive mirror. I really like the design of this, but most importantly, yes, there is a plug next to it for your hairdryer. Oh, that reminds me, James, people find this very, very important. By the bed, can't believe I skipped this. There is indeed a USB plug, a USB-C plug, and a standard plug too. Now, let's go on to James in the shooter. Welcome to the generous sized bathroom. Dual function flush and our spray. Also over here, plenty of space for activities and, oh yeah, hello, with functionality of light in your mirror to see yourself nice and big. Uh, what else? Stuff under here. Robes, we didn't use them, why not? Recycle that. Um, also, hair dryer, infinite tissues. Look at this lovely shower. Ooh. His and hers head, nice and big. Speed test time. Right, what we saying, faster or slower than yesterday? It'd be quite impressive if it is faster. Oh, wow. That is, <laughs> that is pathetic. Five down, five up. That is shocking. That's probably, what, 30 times slower than yesterday? Not impressed. Nice hotel, shit Wi-Fi. Goodbye to Hotel Naringa, but onwards to our luxury stay. And we are leaving the city centre and going back the old town. Oh hey, it's time for a bit of luxury. So for our luxury option, we have gone for Hotel Paget, which is a five-star luxury spa hotel here in Vilnius. Now, 
I booked us a classic double room, which was £155 for the night. But when we got here, they upgraded us to a superior room, which is about £169 for the night. And both those rates include breakfast. I always say this about luxury hotels. You're more likely to get an upgrade just because, you know, they are really, really, really concerned about you having the best time possible. Right, let's go check out the room. So we have a chair, a good place to put your shoes on as you're getting ready. And you also have a work desk here. Uh, free waters, no other place has given us free waters. Same Nespresso machine as the last place and the same cups actually. And you may have noticed that they gave us a glass of sparkling wine on our arrival, which I bloody love. Also at the hotel, there is a spa that you can access for free with a sauna and all that kind of stuff because of COVID. Oh. I think this is because of COVID as well. Um, you do have to book a spot, which you do simply through your phone and by tapping on spa. Over on the back wall, we have lots of storage. So if you're staying here for a couple of months, I think you'd be more than fine with the shelving here. Along here, you've got a place to hang things up. You've also got the space where we put our bags, our shoes, you've got a security deposit box and a hairdryer and ooh, a laundry bag too. So there must be a laundry service. And finally, we have your glassware, a little mini bar snack box and the chilled mini bar is down here too. Ooh, should we find out how much the sparkling wine is here? More or less than the last place? I think it's gonna be more. Oh, it's 10 euros, four euros more. Still not horrific though for a five-star hotel. An amazing flat screen TV right over the bed. Best position to be in the hotel. Also, this is another original feature here. And I quite like that you just get little glimpses of that throughout the room. Right, haven't tried the TV yet. Is there gonna be anything worth watching? Can we stream to it? What's the situation? Ooh, that's nice. Okay, same channels as the last place, but if you need to watch your news, you're gonna be able to. But this is what I wanna see, screen sharing. Okay, there are options. I know that's important to a lot of people. That's enough of that. Now onto the view, which I think you can see as you peek through the curtains, that it's gonna be pretty impressive. It's over the square here in Vilnius. And also these windows are pretty heavy duty. You can hear all the street sound. Silent, like this room is really, really well soundproofed. Oh. And one more thing before we get to the bed. Yes, there is a place for you to change the heating and the air con. Now let's go to the bed. In both the classic and the superior room, you get a queen size bed. And I haven't actually tested this yet. We've been trying to keep it nice and tidy for you whilst we're filming, but let's go. Ooh. Smooth, I think my skirt's up. It is, my bum is flashing. Don't look up, don't go up, James, don't go up. Um, thoughts. Yeah, ah, oh, my thoughts are, it's a lovely bed, but what is really great about it is you look up and you do get to see those original 15th century features in the room. And that is actually pretty special. Right, it's time to hand over to James to see what's going on in the luxury loo. Luxury shower facilities, needs a bit of oil, but very beautiful, lots of space. Luxury towel rail. Heated. Luxury toilet facilities with luxury oh, jet wash. Luxury sink Oop. with luxury bath products. My bum, that's what it stands for. And luxury customer service, which I think I need now. Housekeeping, please. Someone's made a mess. And the most important bit, that you've all been waiting for, the speed test. This is the first time we've done it. I have no idea how it's gonna be. Ooh! Now, not as fast as the budgie place, but pretty good, 62 download. What will the upload be? Pretty good, again, much faster than I get at home. 75, 70, even faster upload.
that's it, our trip is over. But the big question, we finally get to it, which of the three places we stayed at do you think was the best value, James? Well, for me, I thought it was the luxury hotel. Of course you now, did. Now, hear me out, because at £155, yeah. I think for a service like that and a room like that and everything that came with it, it is brilliant value. I, I will agree, especially compared to other capital cities, it is fantastic value. However, it is. However... Yeah, it smelt lovely. I'm putting my money instead on Naringa. Hotel uh, Naringa. Because I just think it's such a good... If you go for the cheapest option, which is £52 a night, it's a brilliant, brilliant way to feel like you're having a treat without spending a fortune. No, it was a nice hotel, and but, but the luxury one just pipped it for me. If you don't know about James, this is very no. him. He is not down for the budget option at all. No, but that's not even the budget option one that you pick. That's the intermediate. Well, my final thing that I will say is that what you could do is stay two nights at Jolly Apartments and then treat yourself the last night at the luxury hotel. Oh, no. I, honestly... That could be a good way of doing it if you're on a budget. I loved that luxury hotel. I know, I know. But forget about James. Forget about what he thinks. What do you think? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave us a comment anyway. Yeah. Hit subscribe if you're not already and hopefully we'll see you around soon. Bye from Vilnius. <laughs>